Hey everyone, I am here at the Trade Winds this week and I am so excited for our live Sunday supper event. It has been a fantastic weekend. Yesterday we spent all day in the Florida strawberry fields. We were able to speak with farmers, uh, tour different facilities, pick strawberries, learn about uh, Florida strawberry research. It was a fantastic day of learning. And today we're here at the Trade Winds Resort it's a beautiful facility. I have Strawberry Sue with me. Um, we have been learning from different chefs on different recipes and you know new cocktails. Um, and now we're ready to have Strawberry Sue take over. And as you all know, she is the be all and end all when it comes to Florida strawberries. <laughs> so not only can she answer all your questions, feel free to ask any questions she's also going to show us how to make chocolate covered footballs how awesome are these so i'm going to turn it over to strawberry sue and let her do her demo okay the strawberry footballs are um i would make them for people i really love because it's all hand done i haven't been able to be steady enough with the white chocolate in a bag you know like you could decorate them with to actually do the football, but they're really cute. If you look up close, they're not perfect, but when you get a whole tray of them, they're really cute. So I have this nifty crock pot here, and when I do events and just something like this where I need two colors at the same time, I microwave them first and then stick them down inside this crock pot and it keeps it warm. And I stir it every once in a while so the chocolate doesn't burn. But I can get all, I can actually do three and it's like the perfect little, little size crock pot because you need it deep. If you have uh, anything larger, it's, it's you have to put so much in it to actually dip a full berry in. So I've already dipped some strawberries in the dark chocolate and I'm gonna take a skewer or a toothpick, either way. Do you need something with a point? And it's all gonna be, so they're not, they don't all turn out the same, but I'm gonna start on this side. Renee wants to know that she loves your little crock pot. She thinks oh, they're great. Thank you. It's, I forget even where I got it. Probably a Walmart or something like that. But it's been the neatest thing I've ever found to um, do it with. You're not. This is great. So what I'm doing is just trying to make a line. And my chocolate doesn't seem to be really hot. but So it's not going to be perfect. But you know, football has a line on the top. And a line on the bottom. I'm just dragging it. Okay. And what I found is if I do this center part, just the line, and you try to go to the point of your football. And it does work better if you get strawberries that are more pointy on the end than the square ended strawberries, ones that aren't really shaped that great. Okay, and I don't let that one dry because then I'm going to do the bottom line and then go back and cross it like the threads on the football. Ellen says they're cute and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Renee's impressed with your steady hand. Oh gosh, and then she said that and I messed up. But, right, so Renee's it's, making you nervous then. Yes. It's not your typical chicken wings as we were told earlier today <laughs> for Super Bowl. Everybody makes chicken wings, so since Florida strawberries are in season, so surprise your guests with, with a uh, chocolate football. I love it. So now I'm just going to cross it. I'll make three lines. Megan Roth says that she'd totally make a mess out of these, but I think it just takes practice. It does take practice, yeah. And I, I think this works better than a little toothpick, but there you go. Not too bad. And just let them dry and put them on a tray. This um, little grass mat you can get at the party store. It looks really cute when you display your strawberry footballs on it. Isabel, I'm calling you up here because I want you to try to show them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. It's not okay. that hard to do. Okay, everyone knows that I'm like the most unartistic person that there ever was. <laughs> Come on. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. Show me. 
you're going to take a strawberry in your hand and you're right-handed. Mm -hmm. So get your skewer. And on the pointy end, we're going to make... We're Trust gonna me, if I could do it, anyone could do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to start on one end and just let, the, let it drip, let it just stick to it and just pull across. Oh. You're, I, just t I just touched the top, the tip. I don't use the, the long side, you know, I don't lay it down. Ah. Just the, nope, you're laying it down. Oh my just goodness. Just the tip, just look, watch. Just the tip, Isabel. All right, I'm telling everyone, this is not as easy as it looks. Well, you get to eat it if it doesn't turn out, so. <laughs> okay. them all up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, look at this. It don't have to be perfect. Okay. Isabel Wanda says you're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm telling you. If I could do it, anyone could do it. The tip is, um, is actually just have the point of your toothpick or your skewer touch the berry. Ah. There you go. See, it's so much better when you don't. Do I need more? I'm well, struggling, to guys. Get, I'm struggling. See how thick you're, you take some of it off. Okay. You know, you've got way <laughs> too much chocolate on there. Like, Strawberry Sue makes this look easy, but I tell you, it is not easy. Okay, here we go. That's what I said. You what make, do you guys think? You make these for people you love. Yes. Uh oh. And so look. you said your boys are going to love these, Isabel. They are. My boys are you know going to love They love chocolate dip berries. Ah! <laughs> All right, do I get a I guess you have to eat that one. Do I get <laughs> yes. Well, if you make a mistake on it, honestly. I, just because, you know, sometimes it does fit. Let's show everybody. I just take another skewer, and I just, since this one is dry, all you do is you take it off. Oh. Just like that. I don't get to eat it? Well, you can. <laughs> I thought I was going to get to eat it. I'm so disappointed. So anyway, that's what I would do to get it off. Okay, can I just go with that? Sure. Okay. It's your, it's your berry. <laughs> it's my berry. Yeah, I promise. It's your berry. Okay, back to doing this. But look, I could tell I already messed up. I think I went down too far on this one, but that's yeah, okay. It's my gotta first your, one. Yeah. You've got to leave the... Um, I should not have had coffee this morning. I feel like my hands are too shaky. <laughs> oh, all right. Somebody else needs to come up, up here and take over for me. Clearly, I am not the person for this. <laughs> Cindy has volunteered to eat any of the mess ups. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you she, think? It looks like a football. <laughs> what are you talking about? It, it is like no strawberry soup creation. <laughs> well, if we had some orange um, melts, we would make yeah. basketballs. And you can make baseballs. You just use the white with the red and make them. Oh, They're very, wow. very cute because on, on the baseball you would just go on the edges of your oh my gosh, strawberry so with cute. the red and do I the same thing idea. with the toothpick. I love that idea. All right, who's going to come up here and try one besides me? Come on. Who's going to come up and try one? Try one. <laughs> Wait, I like that. It was just a very polite little. They're all chicken, and it's really not that hard to do. Heather, come on up here. Come on. I have this feeling that Heather's going to nail this. She'll be much better than me. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, as you see them up close, they, they're not all perfect, but no. you get the idea. So I'm going to give you a berry. Okay. And. Like I said, if you get berries like this, it's hard to actually make it into a football. So you Renee's need a rooting for you, Heather. You need a pointy one. So, so is Megan at home. It. And I start on this edge, and I just go this way. Okay. And we're going to take some of this off, because you don't really need that much. <laughs> okay, we'll do it together. Isabel filled her little toothpick with two so lunch. So you only need the tip, not the whole thing. Just the tip. Okay. So wipe. Okay, I'm just getting it. You know what I mean? You got you got it way up here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> That's what Isabel did, and when she let when okay. it laid down on it, it made a long. It made Gosh, and we line. don't we don't want that. Yes. Mm -mm. You do not want to do what Isabel did for sure. <laughs> so I'm just going to start here, and I'm going to start pulling okay. across. When we made the tuxedo berries, we did the same thing with um, with the bow tie. Speaking of tuxedo berries, how cute was that tuxedo berry last night in our hotel room? Yes. Those were very Oh my gosh, wasn't fancy. it so good? Those were wedding worthy. Yes. I mean, they were just they were gorgeous. Beautiful. Which one was your favorite strawberry soup? The one with toffee chips. <gasps> yes. I went for that one first. Me too. <laughs> I love coconut and dark chocolate too, but boy, that toffee. See, you, you don't have to lay it down. You're just using the tip. 
Okay. Like this, just like this. You don't. Okay. Uh, just vertical. No, you're laying it down this way. Like this. Just like this. <laughs> See, I told you. There we go. You just have to practice. Well, we have something easier to do, and if you want to stay up here with me. Sure. We've got, we've got something else to do. So this is for the guys, the footballs. My boys would go nuts over these. Yeah. I have a football-obsessed house. So. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> they would be really surprised that you made them something like this. Yeah. Wanda says no, there's no wrong way, and she's sure they're all <laughs> They're all going to taste good, right? Right. Because everything. So chocolate. if you just get used to using this end. The tip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And on the center, you would just put a line this way. Okay. And, and then you would, this line really needs to be there. But. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll practice at home. Yes. <laughs> With the boys. <laughs> and I think our chocolate is getting a little bit okay. uh, thicker. Okay, so now we, we've made the footballs. Now we're going to make something else. So this is for the guys, now we're going to do something for the ladies, or for any type of party. Valentine's Day even is coming up, mm. but, um, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll come over here, and we're going to These look amazing. make some of the, we call them strawberry blossoms. So it's cream cheese, which everything is good with cream cheese. Mm. was Philadelphia cream cheese filling. So this is fast and easy. Yes, wow. In the grocery store. So we're gonna, we're gonna cheat. You. We're gonna cheat a little bit. And I need a spoon. I don't have a spoon. Amy wants us to send her some pictures of the football ones. Here, you can look at them again for now. She does. We'll send you some pictures, Amy. So we've got the Philadelphia cream cheese filling, and I use probably like a half a container at a time. Okay. And I'm gonna put some Cool Whip in it because we need it a little bit thinner so we can pipe it. So if you wanna go ahead and mix that up. Sure. And I'm gonna I get, can do that. I'm gonna get some <laughs> strawberries, and it doesn't matter what shape we use for this one. We're just gonna cut the top off and make it flat on the bottom. Um, do you know strawberries are really good for you? How many yes. do you think equal your daily requirement of vitamin C? Eight medium. Eight medium. Yes. Very good. Wow. I learned a lot yesterday. You did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Very good. So if your kids don't like orange juice, a great alternative is strawberries. And yes. actually, strawberries have more potassium than a banana. A lot of people don't oh, know that. Oh, so. I did not know that. My little boy, he is five. He's in BPK, so he gets to take his lunch to school this year. He loves it when I cut up strawberries in a little container yeah. and take them. So And it's a treat. It's it a is. special treat yeah, when, and I'm is. sure all the other kids go, mm, I want some strawberries. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's a mix. Well, since we grow strawberries, um, my uh, granddaughter's school, we actually kind of schmooze the teachers a little bit with strawberries <laughs> so I'm oh, gonna I'm show sure. you yeah oh, you know they, they actually give her lots of brownie points so. <laughs> well, and um, I don't use piping bags just because okay. I don't like cleaning up remember I use solo cups to melt my chocolate and everything so I can easy easily throw it away so I just use freeze, um, freezer wrap and I cut off a piece I do use the piping Tip. And I use a big oh, one because okay. that way we don't have to keep doing it. We're just going to sure. put it in one time. It's all done at one time. Exactly. So I'm going to actually just make a little foam. Wow. And drop this in. I do cakes this way too when I bake a cake and decorate it. Okay. So I'm going to cut this off. Put my tip on. And you can use a fairly large one. Like I said, it. Okay, and we're gonna fill it. Okay. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream 
cream cheese and cool whip. Cream I mean, cheese how can you cool go whip. wrong? It's cream cheese filling. <laughs> it's the actual cream. Um, that looks like so professional. Cream cheese filling. <laughs> that looks like Doesn't pastry it? Chef. I know that is such I know. a cool tip. I, I, I just, love it. I just uh, I used to buy those bags, and then you have to clean them, and or you buy disposable and they're plastic, but. My hands get hot, and when I'm icing a cake, it melts my, the, you know, the Crisco. Mm -hmm. And so this is a lot easier. So we're going to get started a little bit. Okay, that's Ooh. pretty. So I cut an X in the top of the strawberries. After I trim the bottom, I cut an X. Okay. So. Oh, I cut that one too far. And we're going to open it up a little bit because I've got to get that the end of the piping bag in it. So we're just going to squirt that in there. Oh! So there you have cute. a strawberry blossom. You want to try one? Sure. Okay. Get it started a little bit. Lock it as well. I've already got it. Looks like it's going to break a little bit. Susan, so, so what are you doing? Fill us in. <laughs> yeah, I'm filling it in. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can't see that. this, but there's a room full of... Um... Wanda's saying they're bite-sized. I think oh we should gosh. make her try to eat one oh. one bite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully yeah. I didn't cut that one too far. If I did, we can cut some more. Okay. And then I'm going to take a Ziploc bag and put some chocolate in it. Oh. Amy said they look like deconstructed strawberry cheesecakes. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, look at that. So there, if you take these to a party, they'll think you're like amazing. So and we'll get some almonds. Awesome. But let's decorate them a little bit. Oh yeah, these would be such a great thing to, to take to a party. Mm -hmm. To watch football this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all coming over. We'll sprinkle some. Isabel, okay. one of your boys is watching, so you're gonna have to learn how to make footballs. Uh oh, <laughs> he's gonna be oh. very disappointed in me. No, <laughs> but I you couldn't can make do it. those footballs. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> okay, so I'd probably use a smaller Ziploc bag because I don't need very much chocolate, but I think they look pretty when you drizzle the chocolate on top of it. Again, I'm just using a Ziploc bag, easy throw away. Clean up mess. Not a lot of clean up I need. Okay. So I'm going to put the hole. Those are really pretty. I wish I had a prettier plate to put them on. But, um, so I'm going to put the hole with this. Okay. Skewer or a toothpick. And I'm going to get it started. Ooh. A little bit, okay. And I'm just gonna drizzle on top. Oh. So it? pretty, yes. Oh, that looks great. This looks so good. So they didn't take very long at all to make. No, so quick, but it's so pretty. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I mm -hmm. love it. Strawberries make everything. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yum. <laughs> uh, we have some cupcake papers. Okay, and so if you're at a party and um, you're serving these, so I, I like to put my chocolate dip berries in these little cups, and mm -hmm. you can get them all different decorations. They actually have football papers, if you've seen those. Yeah, but if cute. you put the strawberries in here, so if you're at a party and everybody's just picking up your hors d'oeuvres, they don't have to have a plate or anything, they eat this. And nice and portable. It holds it. That's mm -hmm. cute. So we made strawberry blossoms and we made footballs. Very you want to taste it? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is watering. Yeah, it's just no, not I don't say know no. if I can put this whole thing in my mouth. Try it. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, watch. Come on. I'm daring you to. Now that everybody's watching. Come on, Heather, you can do this. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got you. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is the same. Oh, yeah. This is the same filling we used on the pizzas um, mm. with the cookie crust. It's a simple yeah. way. You can actually make the cream cheese filling from scratch, like you would um, normally. But this is the, this is really nice. I don't want to like plug it too much, I guess. But I've never it's, seen this. Before. It's kind of hard that to find. Awesome. Um, we uh, we found it at Walmart actually. So I don't know if it's a seasonal thing, mm -hmm. um, but I also have. 
you can kind of get creative a little bit and buy the strawberry flavor. And then this is honey pecan. So We've got Renee asking if she can sample too. Yeah, <laughs> come, on, come on up and try it. Actually, if you want to try to make one. Also, <laughs> honey and pecan. <laughs> Add a little Cool Whip to it to make it easier to pipe out. And so you've got another flavor is the honey and the pecan. That's very cool. And strawberry. It's always a, can't have too much strawberry with it. So who else wants to try to make it? Someone else, come in. Thank Isabel, you, you, strawberry you, can, you can do this one. Oh my gosh, no, I'm terrible at it. I'm going to let somebody else have a turn. Do you need to retake? Please. I think I'm going to, yes. I'm going to give up my spot for Wanda. Oh, Wanda, Wanda, come Wanda. on, Dad, Wanda, come on. You can do this. <laughs> you can do it. I have complete <laughs> confidence in you. <laughs> I feel confident you can. So. We've got people saying they want the honey pecan ones. Yes. Yes. Do you want, okay. yes yeah, that seems to be yes. the one that's winning. Okay. That's <laughs> um, it's right here. So we don't really have a bowl, but what we're going to do is... We can we can do this. We're actually we just have a table. We're not in a kitchen, so it's a little bit harder to demo today. Yeah, um, usually we're in the strawberry soup. Yes, kitchen. and I don't. I'm not we're in my kitchen. The trade winds at one of the conference rooms. Yes. <laughs> so this is. Um, you want to mix it for you? Yeah. I don't know if um, we didn't really talk about it. It's not super sweet either. This when you added the cool up to it, and this isn't neat. This isn't going to be. It's going to have that great flavor of honey and pecans. That crunch too. Yeah. Mm, yes. And the piping bag that we're using is is big enough to um, to have the nuts go through it. Oh wow. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. I would never think to do that. That's a great idea. So we'll go ahead and trade it for an alien. Trying to fold as best as I can. Can I have to make one of those bags? And it smells amazing too. Yeah. I've oh never and I've never bought it, yeah. you know, to put on bagels or anything, but when oh, you I put have. it on these strawberries, it's amazing. Amy wants to hear more about these parchment paper bags. Is it just oh. regular parchment paper? It's actually freezer wrap because it's waxed oh. on the inside and paper on the outside. You have the best Very tips. resourceful. I also yeah. line my cake pans with this too. That way I don't, I don't use the parchment paper, I just use that. It comes in a huge roll and uh, okay. this is easy. Oh, that, looks, that looks really good. Okay, cool. let's put this back in. Oh my god, I wish y'all can smell this. It's so <laughs> basic. Let's see another tip. Do it. She's not watching. <laughs> okay. So you saw that I put the, the plastic yes. piece in there. Everybody, and I put my tip here. You can buy these at Michael's, Joanne's, anybody that's yeah, that local actually, craft store. Right. Hold on to that. No. I'll make you some some actual strawberries with the that's this one went all the way through, I think. I can't not be talking, but we can I think the ones that are, are misshaped kind of make a, a pretty one too. So it doesn't really matter what berry you use. Okay. 
We'll make it work. Yes. Ellen says she's making these for her next party. Perfect. You can put pecans, you can put coconut on top. It would be great with coconut, toasted coconut. Anything that you put on the um, chocolate dipped berries, you can actually put on top of these. Oh, this one can go. There you go. We'll Saved. <laughs> Beautiful. And These ones are so easy to make. Mm -hmm. I can make this in a heartbeat. Yeah. And maybe you can just open them for your kids and have your kids pipe. That would be that great. Would be amazing. Mm -hmm. They would love it. That's a great idea, especially for little ones. They yes. love that. And kids appreciate it. it when you involve them in the kitchen. They so do. this is amazing. Okay, yes. so now so we're going to put some nuts on top. Okay. And then the chocolate is still warm. I think oh. it needs a little chocolate, don't you? Yes. <laughs> chocolate yeah. is like bacon. It makes everything taste exactly. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> You want to pipe the, the chocolate? Cindy says you can make them for a football party and sprinkle them with your team colors. There you go. Ooh. That's right. Look at Wanda. She is like a pro. Well, you know, I didn't want to say anything, but I used to, <laughs> <laughs> I used to bake and sell cakes and wedding cakes oh. back in the day. Oh. Yeah. Wanda, why didn't you speak that before I got up there and made it? <laughs> 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 she could probably make a football. She, yeah, she probably could do it like one, two, three. <laughs> so, Strawberry Sue, what are like your last tips? Hit us with your best chocolate covered strawberry tips. Um, melting the chocolate in the cello cups and using a plastic yeah. utensil to stir in everything because there's oil in this and it's just. It gets on everything and it's hard to clean up. You have to use really hot water and Dawn dishwashing liquid or something like that to get everything clean. And um, the, I say anything you can roll it in, the toffee chips, the coconut, um, the different colors of melts even. Pistachios. And pistachios, yeah. oh yes. Color. Pistachios would be wonderful on that. That's the good flavor. Any kind of nuts are, are really good on it. And um, the piping bag, yeah. you know. That's a great I think tip. that's. I just like anything that's easy to clean up. And I like fast recipes. Uh, if, if I get berries and I've got to go somewhere and I've worked all day, if I take this, it only took a, yep. a very short time to make. And I can take something to a party that I didn't buy because I hate going to a party and I look on the counter and it's like grocery store packages with cakes in it and cookies and things like that because everybody likes something made from home. And being in the strawberry business, everyone expects me to bring strawberries. And I know this would be fine and they would love just a bowl of strawberries, but to make them special yeah. like this, they think you spent hours. So Yes, absolutely. So what's your favorite way to eat a strawberry? Naked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With nothing on it. Yes. <laughs> it's so good for you. And um, I, I know very few people that don't like strawberries, so... Enjoy your Florida strawberries. <laughs> Thank you, Strawberry Sue. And as, Thank you, as most of you know, it is National Sunday Supper Month. We are having a contest all month long. So I want to share with you the winner of this week's contest. This was their post. And all you have to do to enter is submit an image with hashtag Sunday Supper with either a quote or um, either a quote or just an image. And the reason that this person won was not only because of her image, but also because of her quote. And it said, um, everyone joining in to snap fresh green beans for dinner brings us together as a family and makes the meal more fun. And really that is truly what Sunday supper is all about. So every week we're giving away um, different prizes. And then one grand prize will get $500 gift certificate to go shopping and cook Sunday supper together with their families. So thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week at 4 o'clock.